Good morning everybody, so today is the 2nd of January, um, I'm sorry I haven't been on YouTube very much over uh, Christmas and New Year, I've actually been really poorly, um, I came down with a cold just before Christmas and then kind of recovered from that and then on Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve I got another bug and it's literally had me on my knees. <coughs> Um, which is just typical because I thought this year would be the year that I didn't get anything because I was being really really good however I did so yes I'm a bit hot and sweaty still um, unfortunately um, but I didn't want to kind of leave you guys in the lurch um, and I know you guys wanted me to do some more vlogging in the new year um, so I kind of wanted to kind of just let you know what I was going to be doing um, and and that is I'm going to try and do a bit of a monthly vlog so every month I will upload a vlog but it will be tidbits from that month so I'll try and put dates in and stuff like that um, but it's just going to be little bits here and there of when I've been at home doing things my life really isn't that interesting um, and I know lots of people have said oh my god you know your vlogs are really good um, please 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 do more um, so I'll try and capture the most interesting things that happen um, but yeah my life really involves just going to work and then coming home and then making YouTube videos at the moment so um, so yeah uh, we will kind of see how this goes for the month of January and give it you know let me know what you think um, and hopefully it will be good and you'll enjoy it and it will be enough for you guys probably won't be but you know I'll, I'll try my best anyway um, so yeah so you're gonna get a monthly vlog um, as I said today is the 2nd of January and I am pretty much just kind of spending the day recovering but also I have got tons and tons of videos to film um I've got literally so much to do um that I've just been oh the cat has arrived Ziggy Zig Ziggy what is the matter come here turn around say hello oh say hello no, what is it? He's being grumpy because I'm talking to you guys and not talking to him. Um, there we go. Say hello. Say hello. Silence. Anyway, um, yeah. So um, I've got loads of videos. <coughs> to film today I have got tons of housework to do trying to burn through this cold I didn't get to upload my um, Sainsbury's haul this month because I was sick in bed I literally arrived on Christmas, New Year's Eve and I was gonna film it and everything and I couldn't because I was dying literally dying um, my other half even put it away which is very rare very rare um, but I did get myself a really spicy soup so I got this taste the difference um, sweet potato coconut and chili soup if it's gonna focus there we go yeah um, and I thought we would try it today and see what that's like because I feel like it might maybe help my cold because it's got chili in it and it might burn it out a little bit I don't know I've also got some oranges and lem sips and all that stuff but I had lem sips the other day and they actually made me throw up so I probably won't be having those again anytime soon um, um so yeah uh, anyway I'm gonna leave this here for now um, I've got to put my face on do some more filming get ready for the day and I'll see you all later Okay, so I've done quite a lot of my, what I call tripod filming. Um, 
sort of like my stage stuff that I was going to do today. Um, I've got a few bits more to do this evening, just like I'll do a bath bomb and a face mask probably. Um, but I'm just going to now have some soup. It's now like half past two already. Um, it's growing so quickly. But I've got that uh, soup that I was talking about earlier that's got chilies in it. Um, I'm not very good with spicy, so I'm a little bit scared it's going to be too, too spicy. Um, so I hope it might be worth filming my reaction, just in case I absolutely explode. Um, I'm just going to pop you there for a second. I know you're a bit wonky, but you'll you'll have to do. So, here we go. Chilli soup in the attempt to get rid of a cold. Oh, so that is actually really nice. It's a little bit hot. Oh, it's quite spicy. But, actually, big thumbs up for that. I thought it was going to be too much for me. Because I am such a wimp when it comes to curries and stuff like that. I can do korma and that's it. Um, so, yeah. Oh, oh, and it didn't even smudge my lipstick. I'm loving this lipstick. Um, yeah, so that is cracking. Highly recommend it. Might even clear me out a bit. Right, on with lunch. Good evening, everybody. So today is the 24th? No, 24th. Today is the 4th or 6th. Today's the 6th. So today is the 6th of January. Um, and it is about past eight in the evening i got home from work about 20 minutes ago and um i have put dinner on i've unpacked my shopping got some amazing amazing bargains today um in tesco's yeah i went in tesco's at the end of the day and they had loads of reduced food and stuff um so i went and grabbed some of that and i've stuck that in the freezer i put dinner on i've got the washing to put on house to tidy and then tomorrow it's video day um so i realized that tomorrow is the day that i will be filming my 100 not 100 my um anniversary video for my youtube channel and i've been racking my brains all day trying to work out what kind of video i would like to do for you guys um and i know that a lot of people who I watch um, and I'm friends with on YouTube are kind of around about the same time and have been kind of reviewing their first video they ever did and I think that's not a bad shout actually it's a good reflection upon how far you've come but I wanted to do something different and I really don't know what it is and it's really bugging me and I know that the, if I don't do come up with the idea soon um, time's just gonna fly and it will be that time for the video to go up and I won't have anything so I don't know what I'm going to do, but um, yeah, that's, that's, what I'm, that's where my brain is right now. Um, so yeah, so we'll get to do a little bit more vlogging tomorrow, hopefully. I think I may even have to go into town tomorrow. I don't really want to, but I may have to because I've forgotten to do a couple of things this week that I was meant to do. And by the time I went to go and do them, I couldn't. So yeah, that needs to be done. Hey everybody, so today is the Monday the 15th, I think, of January. I'm starting to feel a bit more like myself, thank goodness. Um, I was going to go to the doctors this morning and try and get something else, but I phoned them up and said, look, it's just this frigging cough that won't now go away. And they were like, we can prescribe you Linctus, um, simple Linctus, but I was just like, Do you know what? I can probably get something better than that from down the chemist if I pay for it. So um, my other half's gone to the chemist to get me some more cough medicine. Other than that, I'm pretty much nearly fully recovered. <coughs> See, cough. Um, I was up till about, well, I woke up at about half past three this morning coughing and then spent the rest of the night till about six o'clock this morning in the bathroom on the floor because i woke my other half up and he was very grumpy 
um, so that didn't go down very well. I'm just going to um, make myself some lunch. The sun has come out, I've got the windows open, I've got some fresh air coming through. Um, and yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, I know I still look a little bit pale and pasty and I've still got this horrible rash all over my face which you can't really see too badly now um, but it's just from coughing um, <coughs> too much um, which I can't seem to help at the moment so um, yeah so just a big thank you to everyone who's been so supportive while I've been poorly this month my mum came down yesterday to look after me a little bit which was nice because she you know kind of did some housework and stuff for me because I hadn't done anything for weeks and weeks um so she came down did some housework but she didn't want to be in a vlog but she did want to do a um a little unboxing video which was super super cute um because it was her unboxing kind of thing so um it was her uh glossy box so she really enjoyed doing that and i should have that up in the next day or so oh i have actually got something else i'm going to be reviewing and i haven't shown this on my <coughs> main channel yet because you know i've been ill um and i haven't even opened it yet so i will just sneak down here um, where I hide all my goodies to show you um, and let me just turn the camera around here we go so this is lab um, now earlier on this year I started um, trying to do um, or get my teeth a bit whiter um, because I felt that I they weren't awful, but um, because I had quit smoking earlier this year, um, and not that I used to smoke a lot, I only used to have three cigarettes a day. Let's open this up. Um, yeah, I only used to have three cigarettes a day, but because I quit smoking um, and started trying to whiten my teeth a little bit, I really, really wanted to try this when I saw it. So, let's see if I can open it up. So this is Lab Pro Whitening Clinically Proven um, Teeth Whitening Kit. I will do a separate video on this, um, but this is a non-peroxide, <coughs> a non-peroxide well, uh, LED gel whitening kit, um, and I've got it from QVC, um, which means that I can try it, and if it doesn't work, I can send it back, which is fab. And if it does work, I can keep it, and I can get some more gel. Um, but it's just huge like massive oh there's the two ladies that were on qvc so it says here you can go from like this color all the way to this color which is pretty good pretty good and then you get like a little teeth guard and um little timer as well so up to 10 shades whiter um no rotation on gums um non peroxide comfortable mouth yeah it just looked interesting um it was quite expensive but like i said if it doesn't work it can all uh, it can all be returned and interestingly enough when i opened it up none of it's in its box but the stuff's still here. So this is the this is the gel, the magic gel that's meant to sit in there. <coughs> and you have a spray which you're meant to spray your teeth with. <coughs> then you're meant to have a teeth whitening pen that you can do touch ups with. Uh, then you've got the the special guard that you bite down on, um, and a user guide. Um, so yeah. I'm really excited to try that out because if it works, um, for the price that it was, I mean, if you go and have your teeth properly whitened, it costs like a lot of money. Um, whereas this was about a hundred pounds. So I'm very interested to see how that goes. <coughs> uh, please excuse me coffin because you know, it just won't go away. 
Ooh, bit close. Uh, <coughs> so yeah, that is that. Um, I'm going to make myself some lunch, edit some videos, and wait for my other half to get home who's gone to go and get me some medicine. And I will see you all very, very later. We'll see you all later. Take care. Bye. Oh, I'm really zoomed in. Why am I zoomed in? There we go. Good evening, everybody. So, probably from hearing the sound of my voice, you can hear I am back to normal. The bug has gone. Thank goodness. Uh, mother has gone home. Um, I am nice and well and healthy. And the best part of this is that I now have five days off work um, to do some fun stuff. Um, so hopefully we might go on a nice little journey somewhere. We've got some cool videos coming up that I need to film. Um, and I wanted to have a sit down chat with you all about the horrific, horrific, horrific YouTube drama that has been occurring. So for those of you that don't know, there is a change um, that's happened on YouTube this week. <coughs> um, and that change involves, um, will affect me and um, will affect a couple of my fellow YouTube buddies. Um, so if you follow me, you probably may or may not know them. So you have got um, Charmed Wench, um, and I'll link her videos somewhere in this vlog and diary oh no lightning lass as well and lightning lass and i'll link her as well um but all three of us at the moment currently have under um a thousand subscribers as a result of this um and um we will be demonetized so what that means is that on the 20th of February, um, if we are still under the threshold, um, we will lose some of our privileges that we have on YouTube. Um, so our videos won't be featured as highly as they are. Um, our, we won't be able to like <coughs> link extra things in our video. So say I talk about a review of something I've done in the past, I won't be able to link it above so you guys can't like go to it quickly uh, i understand why youtube have done it but it was a bit of a a bit of a a, a, a surprise you know nobody was expecting it and i think that from a person who from my perspective anyway um they could have handled it slightly better so they could have sent out a warning email to say that they were reviewing it um, and that they were looking into making some changes and be prepared for those changes to affect people who are within this remit so that people could prepare a little bit better rather than just giving us a month's grace period because basically that means now okay the clock the clock is ticking for me um i watch loads of people that i'm not subscribed to and i've actually gone around and subscribed to extra people that i know who have less than a thousand subscribers um, and made a commitment to them because i enjoy their content i don't enjoy all of their content um, but i do enjoy some of their content and i don't want them to be penalized um for me not subscribing um so that is what I've done. So, pff, YouTube pff, is what I'm going to say. Anyway, on that cheerful note, um, I'm going to end this quick little chatty portion of the video and give you something mildly amusing to see, um, since most of this vlog has been quite depressing um, with me being poorly and stuff. Uh, here is a clip of me and my mother unboxing a glossy box when she came to visit. See you guys later. I'm gonna set up the frame. That's good, isn't it? You're a bit far away, you need to squish up a bit. Oh, how close? Right. <coughs> that close? Yeah, you're kind of in the shadow. It doesn't matter, I'm not the main player. Oh, okay. Um. 
Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got <coughs> an extra guest with me today because I'm still poorly and my mum, this is my mum, um, has come down to look after me, um, which is really nice of her. Um, but um, she brought down with her her glossy box and I thought we would unbox it on the screen, didn't I? Yes. Yes, yes. I'll grab it, shall I? Where did you put it? Here you go. Oh, did you? Ah, oh, thanks. <coughs> so, this is my mum's glossy box. Oh, yes. Have you opened it already? I have. Ah, oh, okay. I just had a look. I didn't realise I was going to do this. Oh, well, I thought we'd do it together. Oh, yes. I'm so pleased. Sounds epic. Okay, so you get your monthly little magazine which tells you what's inside it. Oh, you did get lots. I did. I was very pleased with the box. It's Why really are you? Lovely things. You got all these um, capsules this month, didn't I you? I did. Are these are the capsules. Yes, I have had one. You've had one already? Yes, I just wanted to try them. So these are the capsules. They're like healthy, designed for fine lines and wrinkles and skin texture. 60 capsules, multi nutrient supplement. Beauty Beneath, original formula. So you take two of these a day? <laughs> That's right. You meant to take two a day, every day. And you get one little one and a bigger one. And how much are they worth? Well, when I read it, it said they're worth about £40. Oh, yeah. That recommended retail price, £39.99. Yeah, and you can get it at boots.com. Do you think they're good? Yeah, I think they're going to be good. Ah, fab. Okay, what else have we got? So we've got a green tea, green tea primer, uh, prep, protect, and it's vegan. 20 mils. Is that one there? Yeah, I'm really keen to try it. Are no. you? Yes, I do. I think it sounds really good. So, I'm green tea primer. A good primer is essential and for flawless, long-lasting makeup. A uh, recommended retail price of £22. And that's really good value, that is, mm. too. Does it smell like green tea? Have you smelt it? It's sealed. Oh, can I open it? Yes, you can open it because I'm going to use it. I'll try a little bit. Put a little bit on the back of my hand. Oh, it feels lovely. Does it's it? Really nice, yes. Let me smell. I only need a little bit. Oh yeah, it does smell like green tea. Yeah, it does. It smells lovely on. And it feels nice too. Yep. Yeah, I think the makeup will go really nice here over the top of that. Okay. Right, what have we got next? What's this? This looks good. Oh yeah, this is really good. Yeah. <coughs> this is a cuticle product. I really like cuticle products. Nail Medic. Nail and Cuticle Energizer. All your nails are needed in some t serious TLC. Delicious blend of vitamins, plant extracts, revitalising eucalyptus and soothing lavender to get to work on brittle nails, splits the cuticles and dry skin, massage in a few drops onto your nail and cuticle, instant hydration and stronger nails. Do you know, I like the look of that. Yeah, I, I do too. It yeah. looks really good. I haven't tried it. You have to blit, yeah, I think you have to mix it, separate, so it all separates a bit. Mm. Cool. Give that one a go. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I know you like your nail stuff. Yes, I do. Right, what's what's this? Ah, oh, this is the blush. That's lovely. Really like this, but you only okay. need a tiny bit. Okay. It, it squirts out quite quickly. So this otherwise. is focus. A cream blush. A recommended retail price is twenty two pounds. Oh, <coughs> that's for a full size. Is this not for it to be a full size? I'm not sure. Oh. Yeah, I think it's really nice. Oh. But you only need a tiny bit. It goes quite quite far. Let's have a look. It's quite a nice colour as well. I think it's, I think quite, it's, um, it's quite like a burnt orangey colour. It, it looks it looks good on my skin though because I've tried it. You only need a little tiny bit. Yeah, you only need yeah. a tiny little bit. Yeah, because it goes a long way. Yeah. yeah. But when I tried it first of all, it sort of squirted out quite a lot, and it was um, it covered too big an area. Yeah. Okay. What's this? Oh yeah, that's that's an old product. <coughs> I like rose oil. It's a rose Moroccan oil. rose superfood facial mm. oil. So it, I haven't tried this yet, but it sounds yummy. 
Lightweight oil infused with vitamins and oil for bright and even skin tone. Recommended retail price is £55. That's what of course, this is only a small size. So that's a much bigger size. Ooh. Can I smell it? Yeah, it's it. <coughs> I like the idea it's got a dropper, which is really good. It smells rosy. I like rose oil. I know you do. Mm, it's good. I was pleased with that. <coughs> in fact, I was really pleased with everything in the box this month. I thought it was a really good box. I think I did bad by not getting it then. Yeah, I think so. I, I, I think I did really well. Cool, so that was everything that was in my mum's um, glossy box. I hope you enjoyed that little unboxing. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I did. did I you like to do did, more. Did you enjoy being on the camera? Yeah, I did. It was great. Yeah? Yeah. You've wanted to do this for a while, mm, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I have. You want to say, say hello. Mm. Hello. Hi. Welcome to my daughter's channel. <laughs> So if you enjoyed this unboxing, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye. Ooh. Hi, everybody. So uh, today is the 22nd. Yes, 22nd or 21st of January. Uh, I can't believe how fast this month is flying by. I feel like January is completely passed me by with uh being poorly and everything um but today uh it is a beautiful sunny day outside um the past two days have been friggin miserable so as it's a sunny day and i'm on holiday um i thought we'd go into town um i've got some bits to pick up from next because um some of my more more of my sale stuff's come in which is amazing um i've also got thought we'd go and have a little walk down to um what's the name of that place Primark and Superdrug um to see what's about grab a coffee come home waste a couple of hours you know that sort of thing um so yeah uh my little video of uh teeth whitening has started and i'm not allowed to eat for four hours so that's gonna be hard um so i just need something to take my mind off it really because i'm a snacker and i like to snack um so yeah i just need to go shopping because i don't eat when i'm shopping so we'll do that um i also uh just wanted to mention that my giveaway has gone live today i'm so excited um so there's two separate giveaways. One is a Lush one and one is a makeup kind of box one. Um, both of those are, there's a video that says like 1000 subscriber giveaway. Um, go and check that out if you're interested. If you've managed to stick on this vlog for that long. I'm so sorry, it's gonna be a long one, I know it is. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> but yeah, uh, I still have a cough. It still hasn't left me. Um, it's going slowly, but not quite there yet. So hopefully soon it will be gone. But I thought I'd just do my makeup really quickly and then we will go out. I need to do the washing up as well, which is really boring. I hate doing the washing up. Uh, but yeah, I'll do my makeup and then we will we'll go into town. Something fun to do. Mmm. Hey everybody, so I've just got back from town. I'll insert a couple of little snippets of what happened when I was in town. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of show you um, what I've come home with. Um, I'm a little bit stunned um, as to what happened when I was in town. I was a bit shocked. I had planned to do lots of things. Like I mentioned, I think, that I was going to go and do stuff. But... Basically, it all went out the window because I was walking through town. Oh. Sorry, I've got a cup of tea. I was walking through town and I saw a sign and it told me that I needed to go in that store. So I went in the store and I wasn't quite sure if I was physically going to be able to leave the store because I wanted to buy so much stuff. One minute. Ooh. okay, I'm back. So, basically,
Actually, I went into um, Wilkinson's. Uh, there was a sign outside that said, for today only, everything left from our Christmas range is 10 pence. 10 pence! <laughs> um, now, I went in and I will insert a clip here as to the frenzy that occurred. I mean, look at these for gifts for people. I don't even know what they are. Mm. Bath confetti. Tempe. These ball ball things are Tempe. So as you can see, it was a little bit chaotic. I just wanted to show you what I picked up. So the first thing that I got for 10p were these beautiful sort of stag glitter heads that are massive. I had to carry this all the way home. They didn't have a bag in the store big enough for this. And this was 10p, 10p. In fact, everything in this bag was 10p. So there was this, I don't know if it works. It's got like a little battery thing on the back and you light it up and it's like a little stag's head. <laughs> um, like an LED little sort of like Merry Christmas um, light. 10p, 10p. Then they had one of these. I only picked up one. I'm thinking maybe I should have got a few of these because they are like super big. Now, can I just say the stag's heads were £12. The picture frame was £8. This was £4. 10p. I then got this like crazy gold. Oh, I love how it does 
to light the light. Uh, this crazy gold candle holder. This was also four pounds, reduced to 10p, with some candles, which were 10p. And then lastly, I got two of these. I'm just gonna open one because I'm like continuously unwrapping and wrapping them and I just think I'm gonna damage them or something. So I got the two of these, um, which were just beautiful. Look at these. So these are candles um, and they're just like gold stag candles. There's the like wick on top of his head. Um, they're just so festive uh, and they were £4.50. So in total, and me and my mum worked this out when I was on the phone to her telling her what I'd just done. Um, in total, I spent 75 pence. 75 pence. And the value of the things that I bought was, I think it was six, no, 36 or 37 pounds. Um, it was literally insane insane i couldn't i everyone was like why are you buying christmas decorations and i'm like it cost me less than a pound i i, I was flummoxed and because of that i didn't do half the things that i planned to do which is a shame because that means i've now got to go back into town but that means you know i can do some more filming for you guys i guess um so yeah um that was a very successful little shopping haul that was completely unplanned um, i'm not quite sure what i'm going to do with all these christmas things because i don't know if you've ever seen around my flat i have not really spoken about it much but there is not a lot of storage here so i'm not quite sure where they're going to go i've got a big pile of stuff that's meant to be going to my mother's um so maybe she'll take them away nicely and put them in storage for me pretty pretty please um so yeah anyway i think i'm going to end the vlog here because i feel like i've probably rambled on enough for this month um for you to get incredibly bored uh with me so i'm gonna go uh i hope you have enjoyed this first vlog that i've done i know the beginning of it was me being very poorly um but yeah i hope you enjoyed it um, and if you want to see more videos like this give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe because we need all the subscribers we have at the moment enter the giveaway which is amazing um and i'll see you all next time take care guys bye